Hey what's up guys, KSK Riley here. Welcome back to another video on Raspberry Pi. In this video, I will be showing you the best 64-bit OS for your Raspberry Pi 4 and Pi 3. This indeed transforms your Raspberry Pi into a full-fledged desktop computer, meaning you can use your Raspberry Pi for coding, listening to music, watching videos and more. We all know Raspberry Pi allows unlimited possibilities like you can build your own cloud server, a security surveillance system, and most importantly, you can build your computing machine. To convert your Raspberry Pi into a desktop computer, it needs a powerful operating system. This is Ubuntu Mate 2004 64-bit edition for the Raspberry Pi that completely transforms your desktop experience to the next level. As of now, I have been using this powerful Linux distro on my Raspberry Pi 4 since one week and I'm super impressed. This is a quick overview of Ubuntu Mate 2004 running on Raspberry Pi 4 and at the end of this video, I will be showing you how to install it on your Raspberry Pi. Along with that, I will also teach you overclocking the Raspberry Pi to achieve the maximum performance. This guy should work on both Raspberry Pi 3 and Pi 4 and for the demonstration purposes, I will be using a Raspberry Pi 4. Now without a further ado, let's get into it. Alright, as you can see, this is the user interface of Ubuntu Mate 2004 running on my Raspberry Pi 4. And this is the default desktop you get to see. The top panel has a menu bar where you can find some of the pre-installed and helpful applications that you could use it. It comes with a media player, browser, office toolkit and many other tools. On the right hand side, you can find a status bar that shows the system toggles. Along with that, you will be able to find a date and time. Since it's based on Ubuntu 2004, you can download many compatible applications for ARM based chips using the terminal. The Mate Environment 64 bit edition seems a little bit faster than the 32 bit edition. When it comes to video playback, using the Firefox browser, you can stream a max of up to 1080p video. But if you try to play a video about 1080p, you may expect to face a system freezing issues. Apart from that, this distro is most useful and comes with a pretty handful of tools. You can use it for coding and other tasks. I have personally used this distro for coding in Java using the default JDK and it runs pretty decently. Overall, I would say this is currently the best 64-bit OS available for Raspberry Pi 4 and Pi 3. I can almost use this distro for coding, watching movies, listening to music and more. Keep in mind, Raspberry Pi 4 may not gonna provide a super fast performance like an Intel and AMD chip does, but still it's a decent single board computer with an ARM chip that handles the Linux operating system without any hiccups. I'm still in shock that a single board computer with ARM chip running Ubuntu Mate 2004 is magnificent. Also, by installing Ubuntu 2004 on your Raspberry Pi, you may receive a soft updates until 2023. And one thing I want to say here, by the time of recording this video, Ubuntu Mate is in beta and some of the features may not gonna work as intended and you may face an unexpected system behavior and crashes. But once the final update comes out from Mate developers, you would expect to see a fewer bugs with improved performance. It's time to talk about the installation procedure of Ubuntu Mate 2004 on Raspberry Pi. The prerequisites of this video, you need either Raspberry Pi 4 or Pi 3, 16 gigs or higher class and SD card, a monitor, keyboard and mouse. That being said, moving on to step number one, downloading files. Firstly, we need to create a bootable SD card for Raspberry Pi. To do so, you need a computer running a Windows, Mac OS or Linux. 
In my case, I'm using Windows 10. So check all the links in the description box down below. And the first link will take you to the official website of Ubuntu Mate. Over on the top here, click on the download button. Then scrolling a little bit will show you to download an image file for Raspberry Pi. As of now, Ubuntu Mate is available in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. In this video, I will be using a 64-bit image file. Now here, you can find a two versions of Ubuntu Mate and these are LTS releases. Now choose the one you need. In my case, I would pick a 2004 Focal Fosa. Now go ahead, download the image file and place it somewhere on your desktop for easier navigation. Now click on the second link that would take you to this page. Here, download the Balina Etcher for your computer and install it. This software helps in creating a bootable SD card. Now go ahead and connect your SD card to the computer and extract the image file that you have downloaded. As you can see the image file is around a 1.10 gigs in size. Now right click on the image file and extract it using a WinDRAW extractor. Once it's extracted, you can see a new IMG file which is around a 6 gigs in size. This is the file we need to flash it to the SD card. Now open Balina Etcher, then choose a flash from file and select the extracted image file. Then select target is going to be your SD card and click on flash. Now wait for a few minutes and this process will take some time depending on the writing speeds of the SD card. It's time to overclock the Raspberry Pi and keep in mind this step is exceptional for those who are unaware of overclocking. Without a proper CPU cooling, overclocking may cause a serious problem for the Raspberry Pi. Also you need a power adapter that provides a sufficient power to the overclocked Raspberry Pi. Now go ahead, detach the SD card and reconnect back to the computer. Now open my computer, then you will see a new drive named as system-boot. Inside this boot partition, you may see a file named as config.txt. Go ahead open this text file using any text editor. Once it's opened, scroll to the bottom and add these lines. And these lines may overclock the Raspberry Pi 4 to maximum frequencies. If you're using Raspberry Pi 3, then check the description box for proper guidance. Once it's done writing these lines, go ahead and save the changes. Now it's time to connect to monitor, keyboard, mouse and power supply and turn on the Raspberry Pi.
On your monitor, you will see a boot logo of Ubuntu. And keep in mind, the initial boot may take around 5 to 10 minutes, so have some patience. As you can see, you will be presented with a post welcome screen where you have to configure the mate desktop environment by creating a new user account. And that's it, this is how you properly install the Ubuntu Mate 2004 on your Raspberry Pi 4. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop your comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get post notifications. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KS Kirail. I will catch you in my next one. Peace.